Okay, and now for dilutions. Uh, for dilutions, this is do, for doing things such as um, starting off with a certain concentration of solution and you want to uh, dilute it um, to something less concentrated, obviously, and also at a certain uh, volume. So, for example, uh, when I prepare labs with acids in class, um, I grab a stock solution, which is highly concentrated, um, and I need to make it dilute it down to something more safe for the students to use. Um, so I need to figure out uh, how much I need to grab of that concentrated solution, how much water to add to it to get the desired concentration. So the formula we use for this is um, M1V1 equals M to V2. So the big M's are molarity, um, that's the concentration, and the V's are um, the volumes. The difference between the 1's and the 2's, M1, M2, and V1, V2, uh, basically the 1's uh, stand for the starting amount, so your starting molarity is going to be uh, the M1, and then your ending molarity is going to be the M2. Same thing with the volumes uh, V1 and V2. So let's say I have the stock solution of nitric acid is a uh, 6 molar uh, HNO3, 6 molar nitric acid. It is uh, very concentrated, very dangerous, and I want to bring it down to um, something more safe, say something that's like 0 0.1 molar solution of HNO3. I want to go from 6 molar to 0 0.1 molar, and I want, for the lab that we're going to do, I want, um, I don't know, 100, 200 milliliters of it. So, how much of the initial, how much do I need, how, what's the volume of the uh, stock solution do I need to grab if I want to make uh, 200 milliliters of a 0 0.1 molar uh, nitric acid solution? So, um, Here's our starting amount, okay, and our ending amount is this stuff over here. So uh, we can just use the formula to figure out what we uh, need to know or need to find out. So what is our starting molarity, M1? Well, our starting molarity is going to be um, 6 molar. What's our starting volume? Well. Uh, that's what we want to find out. We want to know what we want to start with to make the diluted solution. So if we're just going to leave it as V1, that's what we want to find out. Um, what's our ending molarity, our ending concentration? Well, the desired ending concentration is the 0 0.1 molar. I want it very diluted. And our ending volume, how much of it do I want? I want 200 milliliters in the end. Okay. So how do we find the initial volume that we should start with, that we should add to water. Um, well, that's V1, and just do some simple algebra. Divide both sides by 6 molar so that we can get V1 by itself. And you punch this in the calculator, and what do you get? Let's see, let's bring up my calculator, because I can't do this in my head. Um, 0 0.1 times 200 milliliters divided by 6 molar, and you get 3.33. Uh, so V1, let me move this down a little. V1 is going to be equal to 3.33 milliliters. That's because the molarities cancel out. You're left with milliliters. So I want just 3.33 milliliters of the 6 molar nitric acid solution, I add water to it until it makes 200 milliliters, and that will give me the desired concentration in the end. Okay. I can do a um, problem on the study guide here. Number 13 is a dilution problem, and a good indicator of a dilution problem is if you notice more than one volume or more than one molarity, um, that'll tell you you're not going to be doing a simple molarity calculation, but that you're doing a dilution problem. Okay, so uh, again, the formula is M1V1 equals 
M2V2. So it wants us to find the how many milliliters of the initial uh, solution do we need in order to make 150 milliliters of a 0 0.5 molar solution. Okay, so what's our M1, our starting molarity? It's going to be, we're starting with 3.0 molar. Do we know the starting volume? Nope, that's what we want to find out. So we'll leave V1 by itself, as is. Our ending molarity, we want an ending molarity of 0 0.5 molar, and we want 150 milliliters in the end of that concentration. Uh, so this is similar to the one I just did. You need to do a little bit of algebra um, to get V1 by itself. So you should get, ignore this problem right here, um, but if you do the algebra, you should get V1 equals 0 0.5 molar times 150 milliliters divided by 3 molar. The molarity cancels out, and you punch this into the calculator, and you should get a V1, the initial volume, some amount in milliliters. Okay.